I'm going to look at solutions as to how to curb this issue of courtesy in Nigeria. And I'll be deriving it from different segments. One is the issue of parents, the role that parents can play in curbing it. And I will give you one simple example, and I will use myself as an example. I came in one day, and I saw my son tying his head. And I asked him, why did you tie your head like that? And he said, oh, that I have some friends who decided that we should tie our head like that. And I asked him, I said, don't you know that this thing, from what I have seen, comes from members of the court? And that henceforth, I will not want you to tie your head like that. And disease from following those friends that have encouraged you to so tie your head. What am I saying? Parents have a huge role to play in addressing it from the grassroots, from nurturing point of view to maturity. Once you take it from the nurturing and ensure that you imbibe in your children the risk of getting yourself involved, even in getting a minute members of your school coming together to begin to uh, 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 decide what happens in school or what happens among your peers. By so doing, it will begin to reduce the impact and the encouragement as it relates to courtesy. Secondly, the role that the clergy can play in churches, in mosques, if, for instance, if they can disemphasize on issue of preaching about financial and prosperity and focus on talking about morality, talking about how our children in churches, because they, like in churches you have Sunday school, in such Sunday school, such things should be included. Where the children can be told that, look, whenever you see, report to us when you come to the next church, if in your school you see some students coming together and discussing how to deal with their fellow students. Because it starts by when you see one of your students well-dressed and the others begin to form envy. And they now decide to deal with that student for overdressing. Or maybe in coming to school, the parent brings the child with Bentley and the other one comes with maybe lesser Jeep. And they begin to form an opinion of class. Once that can be disemphasized, it will help in curbing it. The other one is the role that the teachers and the lecturers will be playing in solving this thing. If in schools from nursery to secondary that the teachers can begin to lecture them and let them know the adverse effects of belonging to such group, that also can begin to curb it in lesser position that come in when they are grown. The other one, Mr. Speaker, is the traditional institutions. In communities those days, Mr. Speaker, when people visit a particular family, the king of that village will send a message to that home that he will want to know who has come to your home. And in so doing, there is monitoring of who comes in and who goes out. And that comes to the issue of even is of security. When traditional rulers can play their key role in community policing and also ensuring that they know what their children are doing in certain communities, that will obviously help in solving this problem. Then political class, how are we going to solve it? We are doing lip service to this thing. Most of us engage those court members in ballot uh, boss snatching. They, they encourage them, they give them so much money, and they carry ballot box, and at the end of the day, even in some instances, they buy gun and give to them for the purpose of snatching ballot boxes. Now, when they finish and you fail to compensate them adequately, what happens? They will fight even, they even go after the person that has given them that gun or the community within the environment, and they form a group in doing this. So if you highlight all these points that I have stated, once we can take them one by one, Mr. Speaker, courtism will be eradicated. The last point is government role in curbing it. Just like the last speaker said, national orientation, but it must be very stringent. 
very hard on courtism. What will be the repercussion? What will be the effect? The what should be meant, meted on whoever that is involved in courtism. Once that is directed very straight, you know, we have a form. When you're filling form, they will say, have you been a member of court? There should be a whistleblowing uh, side of it, where even when you feel that I have not been, and somebody knows that you have been, there should be whistleblowing to that effect, where somebody will be reported, oh, I know him in school. He was a member of IA, or he was a member of this, or he was. And in so doing, then you have nowhere to hide. And that will solve this problem of cultism. Thank you, Mr.